Thank you, Chris. Well, the wheelchair athletes are making their way along the route of the Cooper River Bridge run and will start crossing that finish line any minute now. The runners will start their track in about 10 minutes. Our Alicia Wimberly joins us from the finish line in downtown Charleston. Alicia, you made it past the gates and the fences and you were at the finish line. Okay. Who are you talking to there? It looks right now. Katie, I am here right now with Trident Technical College and the amazing work that they're doing for this race. Ladies, can I get a hi? <laughs> okay, so just tell me what you guys do out here. You guys are here at the finish line. I see tents set up. I see water. I see cots. So tell me what it is that you do and how excited you are to be here. Yes, yeah, so I'm one of the faculty members at Trident Technical College's nursing program. And I bring around 40 nursing students to volunteer in the medical tent every, every year at the Cooper River Bridge Run. And they help people that need help with their uh, medical care. If they're not feeling well, then they give them fluids. They'll start IVs. They'll give Zofran if they're feeling a little nauseous. Um, they might give them some fruit if their blood sugar is low. They just do whatever they need to help them medically. Look at you guys. You're all students. You're all students. Look at you. No, this work is amazing. Is this the first time for anybody? Yeah. Oh, you guys do this all the time? See, this is incredible. So what do you guys look forward to the most coming out here, being a part of such an amazing race, and seeing all these people cross this finish line? So the one thing is just helping people, just helping them. And these are all my, my senior students, So, but we've got more at the park. We've got some in the medical tent at the finish line. They're everywhere. Oh, my God. And we can't wait to see you guys everywhere doing the work that needs to be done. And, Katie, they're going to be out here through the entire race. So we cannot wait to be out here to see the first wheelchair come by. We'll get back to you soon. Well, I know folks are very appreciative to have some medical professionals there just in case. Well, let's check back in at the starting line where the race is kicking off Thank in you. about 10 minutes. We have our Tiana Maxwell there. Tiana, it's loud, there's music, there's lots of fun happening. You got some friends too. Katie, I've got four friends with me. They're coming all the way from Greenville. Not too far, but you know, three hours, nothing crazy. So we've got... Matthew. Sophie. Chase. Reagan. And tell me guys, like, what's bringing you out here today to join all the fun? Um, our parents come every single year. Uh, just wanted to come experience it for ourselves. I understand that it's year, you three, it's your first time, but you've been here for three years now, right? Yeah. So tell me about that. Um, I just love the bridge run. It's like awesome experience, everybody cheering you on. It's a great time. It's honestly, the vibes are really good out here, right? So good, with lots of people out here. And it's so chilly, but everyone is getting, re is getting ready. Um, guys, you guys will be warming up after this, right? to warm up here yes. for the race. Alrighty, thank you so much, Katie. So we are we are out here, ready to go. In Mount Pleasant, Tiana Maxwell, Live 5 News.